Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Well, Sarah Wanger, thank you for joining me here on the Valder Beebe Show as I broadcast live across the nation on an FM platform. You've got a great topic, a timely topic. Sarah's here to talk about how physical therapy can help manage pain and reduce opioid use. Sarah, that's a, that's, a big, that's a big promise to live up to. Tell me how this works. So for physical therapy, we work on how people move. And typically when people are having pain, um, that pain is often caused by movement. So people's relationship to movement can kind of fall apart when they have pain. You know, they get scared to move and they are fearful to go to work or fearful to pick up their kid or to walk their dog or to just go out and be sociable. Um, and that's they're fearful because when they move, they get pain. And so our role as physical therapists is to really figure out how people can move a little bit better so that they are having less pain when they move. We can help them figure out how to dose their pain. So instead of doing everything at once and then paying for it later, maybe breaking it up into smaller pieces so that you're not paying for it later. We can also look at how prepared people are to move. So um, are you strong enough to do what you're trying to do? Are you fit enough to do what you're trying to do? Are you doing it with good alignment, good mechanics? So we can really help people decrease the amount of stress on their body while they're doing activities and then help them dose activities differently and help them figure out when to take a rest and when it's okay to go to go ahead. So we do a lot of education with patients, helping them figure out when is it a good time to take a rest or a break when is it okay to move forward and, and to move ahead and to really learn how to modulate what they're doing so that they're not paying for it later? And we recognize that that really is different for each person individually and even within each person different day to day. So how you feel on a rainy day versus a sunny day or a day where you were really stressed out at work versus a day where you had time to relax at home on the weekend, say. So what you need to do for your pain may differ day to day, and it certainly differs person to person. So it's about really coming up with some individualized treatment for each person to help them figure out how to manage their own pain, feel a little bit more confident doing things that are safe, and to really take things that are, aren't safe and learn how to modulate them or change them to make them safer. How does opioids fit into that scenario? So I think opioids, you can work with physical therapy and be on opioids at the same time. You can do it instead of opioids. You can start with opioids in transition. I think it's pretty flexible. I think the biggest take-home point with opioids is that they are effective and appropriate for short-term, very intense pain. Well, but, let me ask you this. You're yes. a physical therapist. You're dealing with, you know, let's get up, let's start walking and things like that. But then, on the other hand, and, and this, is this is a true criticism of, of healthcare professionals, they don't, the doctor's not talking to the therapist 99% of the time. So the doctor's prescribing opioids. How do you bridge that gap? Well, I think interprofessional. I think communication is the answer to that. So not just between you know me, the physical therapist, and the doctor, and whoever else is involved, but also between both of us and the patient. So I think it's important that everybody knows what the plan is. I am uh, definitely a fan of picking up the phone and calling. So if I have concerns about what's going on with the patient, or I think that I'm doing something that another provider isn't aware of, I'll call up and just kind of say, like, here's my game plan. What's your game plan? Like, do our game plans match? And do they work together? Are we giving patients contradictory information? Because obviously that's not helpful. So I really think it's about providing information. So an example for opioids would be is if I have a patient who's using opioids and I think that they're going to get better once they get a little stronger or a little bit more fit or once I teach them how to do an activity differently, it would be really helpful for the physician to know how much time I think that would take. So let's say I think I need six weeks to really get this person you know, stronger, fitter, moving better, like to make enough change to really start affecting their pain, maybe I need six weeks. So maybe a six-week taper 
of the opioid would be appropriate for that person versus somebody else who I think it's really going to take longer. Maybe they need a longer tape taper on their opioids. So I think we all have to coordinate what's going on. And I think patients need to understand what's going on and need to understand everyone's plan. And I think patients play a huge role in coordinating because they're the is, one person that's consistent. What is APTA, uh, the Opioid Awareness Campaign? What is that? Uh, what is that? We're going to wrap up with that. So the American Physical Therapy Association, which is APTA, has an opioid awareness campaign. We have a website called ChoosePT.com that has a bunch of information about the risks of opioids and the benefits of physical therapy and links to other resources. Um, we also have a place on that website where you can find a physical therapist in your area. The American Physical Therapy Association is also working to educate PTs, educate other providers, work with legislators to really get the word out to everyone so we're all on the same page in terms of information and we're all moving forward as we learn more and the new science progresses. That sounds good. And my audience, they can find, once again, what's that website? ChoosePT.com. All right, you guys are listening. You know, there, there's a combination of drugs and physical therapy. I say choose physical therapy when appropriate and get great opinions on your care. I want to thank you, Sarah. You seem to be such a, uh, in tune with your patient, and I wish most people had you. So thanks for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.